nag ano that kind of started the ball rolling na hindi uh, tana pang sibang tourist yung south border ng um, intro boys po which is ano yung pinaka parang biggest deal sa para sa akin kasi yun si bala ng napaka daming ano sa akin daming opportunities kasi right. po simula po na hilay ko intro boys binentor na pa ako ni Mr. Paco rest po ko siya siya po yung nagsulat ng pina ba oh so that's one fact na Uh, maaari hindi alam ng iba nating mga friends ngayon na siya nagsulat ng song na yes, Dina ba? And speaking of the song, parang may nasasensa kong pait ang <laughs> pain kirot sa Dina ba? Yung kanta kong Dina ba is based on a past relationship of mine pero sinulat na po. Sinulat po ni Kuya ba ako? Yes, sure. Uh, hindi, hindi ka na ba mag-expound on that? <laughs> kung ano ang, nangyari? Ang message lang po na di na ba is uh, humihingi ba ko ng isang pag, isa pang pagkakataon na kasi ako po yung nagkamali. Ako yung nag-regret sa naging desisyon ko. Ah, okay. di na ba? Yes, yes. Di na ba? Oh, well, if you guys want to know more about Cedric and uh, you want to ask any questions, I will pass over the mic to you. Kung sino pa pong may mga tanong about uh, his influences, most probably. Uh, yeah. So growing up in New York po, uh, I joined the gospel choir ng high school and influences ko po talaga is R&B and soul. Simula bata po ako, my first CD siguro na pinakinggan ko was Al Jarreau at Anita Baker kasi may ganun po yung tatay ko may CD po siya. Na? So mga musical influences ko po talaga growing up is R&B. Pero the more that I featured for OPM artists sa uh, mga concert po sa Amerika, mas na-appreciate ko po yung OPM music, yung classic OPM, mga balance, mga tagus puso po na para sa mga tao na tipong musika na hindi kailangan na parang vocal acrobatics para ma i- ma-present yung kanta ng Mahayos. So, yung ganun din po ako dati na kasi may hiling po akong kumulot ako, kaya ko pong kumulot. So, parang nalagyan ko po lahat. Kasi parang... Nag-rap as- ka pa nga doon. Nag-rap ka pa nga doon. Ah, yes. So, konti mo. Influence ko din kasi galit. Ang laking New York din po. So, malaki po yung hip-hop sa akin. So, nag-usulat din po ako ng rap. Pero, sa ngayon po, talagang i-represent ko po myself as a volunteer. Para ma-appreciate din. At saka, ibalik din po ako OPM ballad sa Pilipino music na yun. Yes po, si Kuya Paco po, eh, he's not only, uh, he's, he's my main parang musical mentor po. He's not only that he also teaches me, he gives me life advices. At saka po, dito po sa showbiz, lagi, nagbibigay din po siya ng advice. Kasi po, madami na nga po ako nandanasin na rejections, at saka discouragement. So parang, he's there as my support din po. So whenever I'm feeling down or whenever I'm feeling discouraged, is there to support me and give me advice on what I should or shouldn't do po. Uh, si, so, si Kuya pa ako po is he's giving me the freedom to be my own artist. Yun po, he's just guiding me and guiding me my decisions. He's not telling me what to do, he's not telling me where I should take my career path po. Pero he's there as a guide, as a mentor, as a support. Which I appreciate so much. Kasi bihira po sa mga nagsisimula din sa industriya natin na merong katulad na ganyan na mentor na nag-guide sa kanila. Kaya super lucky ko po na meron po ang katulad din sa Paco Ares po. Madami po sa amin po, madami po, madami po sa mga kaibigan ko nag-release ng mga sarili ng music. Uh, over the pandemic. And ako din po, nagsusulat din po ako sa sarili ko music, although mostly English songs po. Pero sa akin po, may takot po ako kasi sa akin pinaghirapan ko yung mga kanta ko tapos parang takot akong ilabas tapos hindi lang mapansin. I feel like Polly is and they are doing their best po to make the most of my music and make the most of my career. Tsaka super lucky ko din po na full support sila sa akin at tsaka ginagawa po nila lahat ng pwede para maayos ang pagka-debut ko dito sa industriya. How much po? How much creative freedom? Ah, ma- malaka po. They're actually giving me f- parang full creative freedom to express my ano, my side of artistry po. Saka ito pong di naman, mad- madami na po yung pinagdaanan ng kanta pero they're taking my opinions naman po talaga. And it's all collaborative ano naman po, collaborative creative team po. Talang everybody's putting their input at saka kasama na din po ako. Ah, hindi po ako, oh, I was born in D9, parang parang 
kasi na po ng oh my god 2k pero growing up po ang nagturo po sa akin po ang tae natin kasi so growing up ang mga tinuturo po niya sa akin mga Martin Rivera ng mga ganong klaseng kata na klaseng Filipino na talagang alam po ng lahat ng tao so tsaka yun yun din po bag nung nakasama ko po sa pagtutur sa US mga tutuloy na River Maya sa True Faith sa Intro Boys parang mas na-appreciate ko po yung 90s na music kasi iba po yung tunog dati na it was simple as in parang wala pong masyadong music laban ng music pagka anong pagka musikero nila as in you just write a song simple as that na ibibigay na po sa sa taong bayan appreciate ko sa 90s music na pagka simple po niya hindi over complicated na which I think is ano is talagang I, I like and I appreciate Well, like English na pa para. <laughs> uh, well, growing up po, I spoke English, pero parang pinag-aralan ko po dito nung umuwi pa ako ng 2016, nag-aral po ang Tagalog. Kasi ito po yung, ito, dito sa Pilipinas yung career na gusto ko. So, mas ano, mas, feel ko mas ano, mas appreciate po ng tao ko. Mag-try din ako on my side to be more, ano ni more data ba siya kama sa ano mas maintindihan po ng tao ba yun ah so yun nga po yung sa pagkaka pagtutul ko po sa Amerika pa feature na ano for OPM artists po naranasan ko po sa kanila yung pagtangkilik sa kanila ng mga Filipino fans ito nopo sa sa ano sa tour namin ng intro boys na kikilala ko po kilala kilala parin po ni ko yung pa ako yung mga na nagsimula sa kanila ng mga fans na meron silang dalang mga pictures sila nung sa nakasimulaan po na para sa akin po uh, napa, nakakataba po ng puso ng makarana sa ganong klaseng fans na, na, na ganong kaloyal simula sa simula kayo I feel like it's not something na you witness often sa Amerika pero dito po sa mga ang pagkakilig po ng mga Pilipino fans sa artist nila sa talagang parang masaya po siyang maranasan at saka yun din po yung isa kong isang experience na gusto ko pong ma- maranasan. Mm. Oh, madami po akong talagang iniitulong mga mga musicians in my generation. Katulad po, ano, sana po something I get to work with Zach Tabun, no? sila Adi, sila Arthur Mary, sila Sid Hart. Po, talagang tinatakili ko po at saka makaubusay po yung generation ngayon sa music at saka kaya gusto ko rin po talaga sila makakalabayin din siya rin po. And especially po lahat ng mga ka-generation ko po sa Poli is they're all very talented po at ano, we're working on some stuff together na din po naman. Thank you, Andrew. Ah, sa akin naman po, open naman po ako sa kahit anong dumating sa akin lalo na po sa dinanasan ko na madami po rejection talagang ang nangyari lang po sa akin ang opportunity na dumating po sa akin is maging solo artist and yun po yung unang unang opportunity ko po as a musician pero if I had to if I open naman po ako tsaka enjoy ko naman po hindi na po yung paduhin na band pero talagang fortunate lang po ako na I was ano I debut or mag, I'm making my debut as, my, as a solo artist po Actually po, uh, before po signing with Polish, hindi po ako masyadong active sa social media. Pero ngayon po, since ma- yung team po sa, sa Polish is, is ano, from my generation, and they're all younger people, did stuff po. They're helping me parang maging more active sa social media and they're helping me with what I should or shouldn't put up online. And kaya po, nagisimula na po ako at uh, I'll try everything I can to be, ano, to be noticed po in this generation po. Thank you. So, that, I've heard that my whole life po. Um, Escobar po is my actual last name. And so ah. is Cedric po. So, yun po yung panganan ko. Yun. And po stage where po. did your family came, um, hail from? Oh, down my parents po are both Filipino. Uh, yun po. Mm. Um, pure Filipino po. Okay, and then they immigrated to the States? To the States po. Yes, okay. Po. Um, how was like the music scene in New York? What Why don't you try first in New York? Since it's already like, you know, an international scene mm-hmm. per se. Well, see, uh, when I was in New York, but, and growing up, but, since my parents are Filipino and they're first, uh, first, uh, I'm a first generation immigrant. Mm-hmm. That was, you know, so I was mainly focused on academics, and I wasn't really, I wasn't given that much freedom 
expressing my music and artist side. So, kasi mm-hmm. nung high school, I was in a health professions program ko kasi they wanted me to become a doctor. Mm-hmm. Tapos, uh, so, parang the opportunity to pursue music wasn't that, ano, aside from me being part of a choir. Mm-hmm. Pero, yun po. So, talagang, nung after high school, I just wanted to try it before I, ano, commit to med school since I told my parents, parang, give me the chance. Mm-hmm. Kasi passion ko rin po yung kumanta, mm-hmm. which they saw as a hobby lang din happen. Okay, um, how, um, how about that particular part, uh, which is like to, like, become a doctor or some sort. Um, are you planning to pursue that? Like, uh, well, it's, you know, it's, since it's been a part of my life din po growing up, it's, it was, it was a dream of mine, pero getting closer to applying for med school po, uh-huh. it was, you know, it's, I realized how committed you have to be. Yes. And talagang comment po ako sa lahat ng med students sa medical field workers po kasi, ang um, na-notice ko po, if it's not the one thing that you really wanna do, talagang mahirap po siyang pagdaanan. At saka, something you really have to commit yourself into. And I'm just being honest with myself na, I, madami po akong gustong gawin sa buhay, at saka hindi lang po yun yung gustong gawin. At madami po akong gustong itays. Kaya, I, ano na, I, hindi na din po ako nag-commit sa gano'n. And I'm not trying to pretend like I might someday. Mm-hmm. Opo. All right. Um, aside from that, you also told us your music influences earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, can you literally take us to church with your voice? Is that was that like re- something you really did in the past, like before you changed your genre? Uh, yes, well, uh, well, I've performed in black churches when mm-hmm. New York and um, wow. I performed uh, for gospel gospel, and that's a uh, it's a uh, it's it's a part of me. It's something I listen to to ease my uh, no, my my self po whenever I'm feeling down. It's a uh, it's a music that I appreciate because it's just uh, it's no judgment. Mm-hmm. Talagang just say however you want, and you know, it's just you and God. So it's something that close to my heart, din po. That would be, I you know, nice to see something. Yes, but sure. aside from that, uh, your your song is pretty much a ballad. Yes. It's it's fit also for like a soundtrack of some sort. If there's like a, a show in the Philippines, okay. it would be nice to hear it, like a, a soundtrack for that. Oh, are, are there plans to do that? Um, hopefully po, we're pitching it din naman po and kung ano po man po yung maibigay sa amin na maka-appreciate din sa kanta. We're open to that naman po. It's something na I would look forward din naman po. What, what do you see your career actually develop into? Um, do you have like an artist of, like you peg as you want to be like him? Uh, so, sa, sa, career, sa career ko po, um, madami din po akong nakikita na pwedeng mangyari na mm-hmm. parang genres na I can delve into. Mm-hmm. Pero so ngayon po, as a pop volunteer, and simula, simula mata din po, kinakata ko na din ng mga kanta niya, and I'm in the same record label as him. Mm-hmm. It's a... Uh, Martin Nivera po talaga yung parang mm-hmm. I look up to right now. And kasi nakasanayan ko na din po kantahin yung kanta niya. So yung mm-hmm. mamaya po, kakatahin ko po yung pinakaunang kanta na may Nana has ever taught me, which is kahit isang segment by Martin Rivera. So, mm. a, I feel like it's a nice full circle then po to try and sing that to me. Okay, aside from that, has everyone told you that you look like Eric Nam? As Eric Nam po. Yeah. I'm a big fan of Eric Nam. Uh-huh. Uh, it's the first time I've, I've heard it, but uh, I get a lot that I look Korean then po. Alright. Well, that's all for me. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat po, masalamat.